All right, we watched a movie about Diddy Kong, which is all well and good. But there's another character. There's another guy that just, I don't get what his whole deal is, dude. I don't know what's going on with him. You ever wonder, why does Wario hate Mario so much? What is this dude's problem? Why Wario got an attitude? What's his deal? Wario's just a hater, and I love him for that. No, think about this. If you found a person that was just like you, but like, better... <laughs> You probably hate them too. I don't know, let's find out. This is why Wario hates Mario. Ooh, why is he seething? I remember as a kid stepping into this room in Super Mario Land 2 and looking at this obnoxious nightmare fuel. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at him. Oh, Jesus. I love that bit laugh. Hold on. It's obnoxious nightmare fuel. Oh, that's good. I like that too. Grade A Nintendo weirdness. Aww. This is the very first appearance of Wario. You know what's weird? I have a friend who uh, is really afraid of, like, the doppelganger archetype. I can see why that could be scary. I mean, frankly, I can't. We saw Nope together. It was like, yeah, that was fine because he won't watch us. <laughs> he won't, He watched Get Out and he watched Nope, but he won't watch us because he's scared of the whole doppelganger thing. I'm like, what? Bro, if it's me, I'll just kill him. I'm dumb as shit. <laughs> My clone's gonna be dumb as shit too. I'll just kill his ass. A really tall Conan? Wait, what is- You think my Wario would be really tall? <laughs> That's the thing that differentiates us? This time the game so takes stupid. place on Mario's own private island, known simply as Mario Land, complete Damn, with his own his castle own and a massive mechanical version of himself. Why he I guess make saving pet? the Mushroom Kingdom a couple of times made Mario a very rich Why man did he make and possibly a, robot? a narcissist. Please bring me pizza and uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. The story begins. What kind of accent is that? I've always wondered that. Boxes. It's transatlantic? What? Isn't transatlantic what they use in the old movies? In the old pictures? This is what they do. I also Not like bad. that the story in the instructions booklet is told from Mario's perspective, who mentions that Wario has been jealous of his popularity ever since they were boys. We'll look more <laughs> into that later. Oh. Anyway, Mario sets off to the six major zones on his island to get back each of the six golden coins, uh -huh. each guarded by a different boss like Witch and Big Bird. I know I complained about the lack of localization for really the boss what names called? from the first Super Mario Who is but that? Weird. I know I complained about the lack of localization for the boss. Bro, this design rules. He hoi hoi. Dude, this design is excellent. Boss names from the first Super Mario Land, but these are de Bro fights the three little pigs in the Mario zone. <laughs> what are they doing in there? Huh? So Mario Land is split up into the tree zone, space zone, macro zone, pumpkin zone, this play sure pumpkin feels zone, hungry, <laughs> turtle zone, and Mario zone, which gives this game a really diverse set of levels. Cool. Each with much more elaborate oh God, backgrounds and level design than the first game. Hiroji Kiyotake was a young developer on the team at the time and served as one of the directors for the game. He'd be the one to introduce the idea uh. of Wario, with his name being one of the very first things they all agreed upon. Oh the name itself is a combination of Warui. The Japanese word for bad, and Mario. And it just so happens if you flip the M on Mario's cap, you get a W. I guess Whoa. we can thank the alphabet for that one. Wanting to give a Bluto to Mario's Popeye. And seeing they did the same thing to come up with Donkey Kong, Popeye really deserves our thanks for all the inspiration he's brought into the Mario Bro, yeah, universe. Yeah, that's true. Popeye went crazy, actually. They got a lot from that. With him drawing inspiration from both Bluto and Stromboli, one of the antagonists from <laughs> Disney's Pinocchio. Oh, and if you guys were so, wondering, kinda. Wario weighs 308 pounds, and this is what he looks like on the inside. But if you guys were Bro has a roach in his brain. How dirty do you have to be? That, you know, really, that roach is Wario. Because that roach is probably pulling all the strings, dude. So oh. this detail isn't crazy important, but I found it funny that Kiyotake's favorite enemy in the game was the bee fly in the tree and macro zones. The way they're programmed, you can't take them out by just jumping on them since they fly away too fast. Uh -huh. And apparently this amused Kiyotake to the point where he was laughing out loud when he first interacted with them <laughs> and mentioned how excited he was to see players get frustrated while struggling to take them out. <laughs> I love useless characters that do nothing in games. So the first time I saw the bee fly, I burst out laughing. He just flies away. Honestly, that probably would make me laugh. Because you think that you're supposed to chain jumps onto them. <laughs> they just escape. This is an interesting boss battle in itself, as Wario goes through three phases using different power-ups that Mario has been utilizing face. within the course of the game. Why Despite is he so Wario's smiley? best efforts, Mario wins the day and Wario is reduced to a crying mess on the floor. Aww. This was a nice touch. 
But with Mario's castle reclaimed and peace restored to his plan, lands, actually. what happens to Wario? Well, before we get into that, I wanted to take a look at the earliest point chronologically in Wario's timeline. Well, we'd see their very first meeting in a game known as Yoshi's Island DS. Uh -huh. So in Yoshi's Island DS, Bowser goes back I in thought time he's transitioning to into an ad. Yeah, I was really close to skipping. In hopes to like, find eh. the seven star children, a set of kids that have magical stars within them that, when collected, can make someone the ruler of the universe. I don't know what? how that works, but that's what the story says. Baby Mario Luigi the kids have and Peach stars are kidnapped in them? by Kamek and the Toadies, but this kidnapping is cut short by the Stork, who's finally had it with these guys coming to kidnap babies. Wait, this game ruled? Wait, was this one good? I thought Yoshi's Island was the bad one. With the bad music. That's New Island. Oh my god. Chronologically, this serves as Mario and Wario's very first meeting. There's not much to baby Wario here as they based a lot of his personality on his future greedy <laughs> persona with him even leaving the group for a bit to join bandits. And later on, he would even feud with baby Bowser <laughs> for a bit over He's treasure. Screaming. Yoshi's Island DS is one of those Hooray! Mario plots that he you won. don't think too hard about. We get a little more context to Mario and Wario's earlier encounters in 1993 from a short comic series called Mario vs. Wario. And it opens with Mario getting a letter from Wario inviting him to a party at his house so they can catch up after 20 years. Aww. So after getting the letter, Mario's actually pretty excited to go visit Wario and Aww, takes a moment sweet. to reminisce the good times that they had as children on his way there. Meanwhile, we see that Wario never enjoyed their time together, oh. accusing Mario of bullying him the whole time, especially when they played cowboys as children. Out of the 1,255 times they played cowboys, Wario only got to be the sheriff once. You find out oh. most of this- Dude, he just got bullied then. That's kind of sad. Honestly, though, Wario probably should get over it. I mean, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Come on, Wario, you know? Get past it. Joins like high school. Come on. Anyway, Mario finally arrives <laughs> oh God, at Wario's castle and immediately Wario attacks. But just by pulling his air plug on his clothes, Wario deflates down to a much smaller size and once again accuses Mario of always being a bully. This seems to be complete news to Mario and he tells Wario to let bygones be bygones and- Bro said, don't be such a wimp. Okay. <laughs> Come on, cheer up. You've been mad and seething for 20 years. Just don't do that. Mario's such a pussy, dude. Come on, do something. Mario's such a piece of shit, man. Maybe Mario actually is a bully. To what add insult to injury, the comic ends with Mario whipping out the old sheriff outfit to traumatize <laughs> Mario once again. Let it be the sheriff! So with Wario being Mario, ousted dude. from Mario's castle, Nintendo wasn't finished with him yet, with the team at Nintendo R&D 1 coming together oh, again to make his ball. very he's own title. Really there was one sure. game in between that that wasn't made by them, though. Mighty Yoga. Oh, this is that game that didn't come out in America with a, a Japanese exclusive puzzle platform title called Mario and Wario yeah, was released mouse, for the right? Super Famicom in 1993. Yeah. But this time it was developed by a tiny indie company at the time called Game Freak. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. So not only was this exclusive <laughs> in Japan, but you needed a Super Famicom mouse to play. Good. Anyway, they lose Luigi and while heading off to find him in the forest, Wario just throws a bucket from the sky onto Mario's head. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Mario. I, I don't Hold know. On. Hold on, I got. I really gotta. I gotta have this ready more often. Actual got him. I thought it would be interesting to bring up, seeing as this is one of the wow. smartest <laughs> game freak put out at the time. Bro, if I'm but I if I'm Mario, be I'd be so fucking mad. You're just trying to harass Mario, and this little pixie with a fucking hammer is just bashing. Interesting to bring Stop! up, seeing as this is one of the Stop! smaller titles game freak Mario, put out help! at the time to bring in some is cash she with to you? work on the first Pokemon. Help! Title. They did also work on a Yoshi game before this, simply called Yoshi for the Game Boy oh. and NES. Best NES game, Yoshi? Are you kidding me? I owned that game. It's not good. Okay, now let's talk about Wario Land. Wario's first title of his own would serve as a sequel to Super Mario Land 2. They even used the subtitle Super Mario Land 3, so I guess they really Damn. wanted people to know even that this was technically a Mario indicated. game. He sets Yoshi's out to steal a golden excellent. statue of Princess Peach to sell for enough money to buy his castle. I love the manual's version of this, by the way. One day, Wario was practicing being mean. There you go. That's an actual <laughs> pastime for Wario. The manual well, now goes he's on to asshole. say that Wario heard a rumor that the statue of now Peach was asshole. already stolen by the pirates of Kitchen Island, known as the Brown Sugar Pirates, with their infamous leader, Captain Syrup. Dude, that's a cool design. I like that duck. Old Nintendo designs do go crazy, truly. Being known worldwide for being a rotten, ruthless Look at man. Buckethead, dude! I fucking love this guy so much. I love Mouser. Just a little mouse that throws bombs. I think he's so cool. 
I don't know why you saw. I, I, there's something about him, man. Like. So when he reaches the final showdown at Syrup Castle with the Brown Sugar Pirates, you find out that Captain Syrup is a woman. What? Yeah, this was supposed to be a big twist. They even hid that from the player in the manual. But oh. before Wario can claim the statue from her, she summons a genie to kill him. But Wario defeats it Can't and grabs the land as treasure as well. With Captain Syrup defeated and the Peach statue found, it's time for Wario to what claim his prize. Yeah. What? Mario, don't. Mario, that's not yours. Where did you oh, get wow. a helicopter? Maybe Mario is actually a bully. You I'm didn't do kidding. anything! He's reclaiming the statue, but this is a pretty funny cameo nonetheless. It's okay though. Wario has a whole lot of random wishes now, so in the end, he still gets oh, his he castle, gets a genie? but he has to pay the genie with all the money and treasures he's gathered on his adventure. Yo, kill me with this! Wait, so he has to pay well the, the genie? Does, the ending changes here, with the best options being a whole planet or a castle. And if he really sucked at the game, the genie will give Wario his very own birdhouse. <laughs> why is the genie? Why is the genie concerned with material things? Why is the genie? He you can't take it with you. The genie could create anything. Why does the genie want financial compensation? Wario kind of likes this birdhouse. He I don't think Wario is too hard to please, right? The success of this game opened the door for a whole Wario Land series with the follow-up game I Virtual Boy Wario virtual Land boy. being released Ew. for the Virtual Boy in 1995. Can you emulate Virtual Boy? It, it is weird that Virtual Boy was just straight up red. <laughs> no, it's it's red and black. Instant headache? Dude, I owned a Virtual Boy. That, it, it, it was so bad. It wasn't even about the red and black as much as it was your neck was like this. Like you had, it was on the table, and you had to go like this. Think of, think of, think of my vertebrae, like this. And you had to do this for hours, just like that. It hurts so bad. Bringing Wario back for another treasure hunting cool. adventure. Ultimately, the Virtual Boy was dubbed Damn, a failure really and discontinued within a year. Did people actually think the Virtual Boy was cool when it was recent? I don't think so. I think when it came out, even then, people were like, "This is weird and not good." And I remember reviews not being great, but I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Your mom be buying you everything? She sure did. Poggers. Having divorced parents so it must be so rad. I, You know, I, pros and cons. You get buffs and nerfs from it, I think. You know, two Christmases goes kind of crazy. A divorce during your young teens must be horrific. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, no, the strat is to make your parents get divorced when you're, like, three or younger. <laughs> I don't remember my parents being together at all. That's the strat, yeah. Because all children are responsible for their parents' divorce. As we all know, it's your fault. The Wario Land series would go on, spawning several other titles that now place the focus on Wario's treasure hunting adventures. And these games introduce totally different enemies and characters from <laughs> what we've already Mario. seen in Mario's games. Why is he throwing so much? Giving Wario Land so titles much? their own charm and identity. And I gotta say, Wario World for the GameCube has probably one of the best pause screens of all time because of this song right here. Game sucks, by the way. Not a good game. I tried it just to see. I, I did not like Wario World. Not fun. I hate Wario humor, to be honest. Dude, no. That's... Wario humor is excellent, except for that. That pause screen I'm not into. But Wario, like, Wario World is very funny. Wario is just haha -ha stinky? No! I think Wario's comedy comes in the absurdity and the, like, the the lengths to which the characters are over-designed. You guys well, only know about Wario from Smash. Creative and hilarious spin Name on these one encounters. joke besides haha -ha stinky greedy. Okay, hold on. <laughs> How about this boss at the end of Wario World? You think this isn't a joke? You think they, they they didn't put in this porcelain mask thing to be... What the fuck is that? What am I looking at? What about this boss in Wario World, which is just a baby angel cherub that you beat the shit out of? Huh? Wario, Wario design is very funny. But before I go on to his famous WarioWare series, I have to take a second to talk about his voice. <laughs> We first hear his voice in Mario Kart 64. Like the international version of Mario Kart 64 featured Charles Oh yeah, Charles this is Martinet like the German guy, right? the voice right? actor for Wario. I didn't mention him in Mario or Luigi. What? 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 Why is he dressed like that? He's dressed like a Wario World boss. Pimp Master Martinet. No one else around him is dressed like that. He's not even... He's comically overdressed. 
the Mario. How tall cast. is he? I'd say that Martinet's portrayal of him is He's the icing. Six on the cake. three. There was one other voice actor Wario had for the Japanese. Charles Martinet is six foot three. <laughs> what? Oh my god! He ate a mushroom. Oh my god! That's so stupid. You're so dumb for typing that. That's not that tall. Six three is not that tall. Golem in chat. He was voiced by German <laughs> translator Thomas Spindler. In 2015, Spindler oh, he's left so a comment mad. on a YouTube video he's called so Wario angry, Speaks dude. German, which has a voice line from Mario Party with Wario saying, So I missed. So I missed. That's not what he which said. Which translates to aw oh, darn in English. No, he said, Spindler's oh, comment I mentions that the Nintendo staff envisioned he Wario said, to be oh, German I missed. and directed Spindler to voice him with that in mind. Honestly? WarioWare is a pretty neat, like, innovative concept. I would have never bought that game if Wario wasn't in it. <laughs> I love WarioWare games to death, but if Wario wasn't in that shit, I'd be like, Mona, who? Previous Wario event. sells? I don't think that's true. WarioWare sold like shit. The news with him deciding the to Switch settle down very and bad. start up a video game but studio it's good. called WarioWare Inc. This series was made by, you guessed it, Nintendo R&D 1, who were inspired by a game they created called Mario Artist Polygon Studio for the Nintendo 64 Dynamic Drive. If is you're not like familiar with the sixth it only released like a million, in Japan which is in bad 1999, for it was ultimately can Okay, uh, no bit here. Is a million sales good? Depends what you told the shareholders. If I'm a shareholder and Reggie is like, Guys, we're making a new Wario. I'm Doc leaving. Make me a Zelda. Make me eight Marios. I feel like all these Kirby's. I, I'm starting to get sick of Kirby. No more Kirby's. <laughs> Kirby's done. Only Zelda's and only Mario's, and that's it. Regardless, Mario Artist Polygon Studio gave players the ability to create 3D objects, add textures to them, and paint them within a <laughs> Jesus. sandbox. Jesus! Oh my God! So essentially, oh, taking Mario that truck was fast. Level. I bring up this Yeesh. game because there's a mini game feature called Sound Bomber, which had the player attempt to get through several mini games in quick succession. Sound familiar? No. Oh, yes. that's cool. Nintendo R&D 1 wanted to take this formula Neat. and build an entire game from it. So to keep the ideas flowing, each person on the team came up with their own mini games and the programmers created their own graphics for each mini that's game. That's so which cool. Which is why the art styles are so wildly different between rounds. I love that. Now I know I didn't cover everything there is to know about Wario, like the fact that he had a spin-off called Wario's Woods, or the fact that he likes strawberry crepes as his favorite food until it was changed to garlic. I didn't oh, cover everything, crepes is but I damn near tried. I like That's that where the one. comments come in. Let me know your favorite- Who is Princess Daisy? Oh, now I'm curious. I don't want to fall down this rabbit hole. I, I'm mad here. Who is she, dude? Coney Peach, Daisy, or Rosa? I'm a Daisy guy. I'm a Daisy guy. Uh, Rosa's the worst. She doesn't do anything. Rosalina doesn't do anything. She just stands there. Like, she she straight up doesn't have any personality or feel Like, she's nothing. 